Here we are with Attack on Titan Season 4 Part 2 Episode 5. Yep. Uh, no, 4. 4. Episode 4. Um, crazy episode, last episode. Um, with Aaron almost being killed. Then they get into the coordinate. And it turns out, yep, Aaron is not going along with the plan. And But it also turns out, plot twist, haha. Um, Zeke is basically a founding titan right now. Because Ymir in the coordinate just demands... Basically, the power or well, gives her power to everyone that is royal blood, and doesn't care about if you have the founding titan or not. Basically, so Aaron is basic basically useless, and now I guess Zeke is trying to brainwash Aaron. So we will see how that turns out. I guess it won't work out right. Um, but yeah, if you like what you see, leave a like, subscribe, or comment. Let me know what you think, and I would say let's get to the episode. Flashback? Baby Aaron? Yep. Super flashback. This again. <coughs> Where they're basically like in the past and just watch. <laughs> I just keep going until you believe me and follow my lead. Okay. Caring for people. Oh. Because he has a plan. <laughs> I don't believe you, Aaron. You have to try harder. <laughs> oh, can he? Oh, Zeke doesn't know. Wait, what? I guess he has bad feelings right now because he knows what's gonna happen, right? And Zeke is surprised that Grisha has feelings right now. 
that's probably worried. I mean, if Aaron is not himself and is basically kind of Grisha, and Armin is not himself because he's kind of battled, then Zeke is also not Zeke anymore, right? <laughs> no one is himself anymore. Oh? Nani? Yeah, indeed, shocked. <laughs> Aaron, is this you? Oh. Yeah, just his imagination. Oh! We are moving on. And here goes the intro again. <clears throat> I mean, we know that there's a lot of weird shit going on with the people that are Titans, right? I mean, uh, what was his name? Owl? His code name? Um, that one that saved Grisha, basically, before he got killed and turned into a Titan? <clears throat> he knew about Armin and Mikasa, so it's like... So much stuff is is linked together and... Like, intertwined and... Even stuff from the future or far past with where also Mikasa and Armin was. I don't know. I don't know if that was the future or maybe some kind of past thing and just a coincidence. It's like it's so crazy. So him being a Titan, being able to maybe see this point where Zeke is in front of him from the future basically. Um while not actually being there is like something that is super weird but it's just part of the titans right it's it's so weird what's going on with the titans like what is real what is fake how do they do this how get they how because everything is like connected with the coordinate and it seems like it's like past future and everything else right it's like everything that has somewhat to do with the coordinate which is basically everything that has to do with aliens and titans is like entangled it's <sighs> crazy I mean, sounds like a good parent. Because I have my own plans. Yeah, right, I want to know too. Tell me. <laughs> That's just how I am. <clears throat> I mean, it makes sense, I guess, right? Because he was always behind walls. So, true freedom was never something they knew.
Oh, Aaron is blushing. Yeah, he still is. He still likes Mikasa. <clears throat> then why don't you do it already, right? <laughs> you can not abandon him afterwards, right? Okay, so that's his reasoning. I want to save my brother before I save the world. And then something goes wrong. Aaron, is it you, my boy? Here we go, beginning of season one. I just did. Yeah, he knows what is coming, I guess. When did he make the decision to confront the founding titan? Like, at the table now, when he talked, or before that? Did we always knew what he was saying? Because right now he d doesn't sound like a bad guy, right? Just killing all the titans. So they're like, they're like nah. Okay. Wow. Mm hmm. Oh, <laughs>
right? Oh boy. Oh, <laughs> oh boy. Aaron is so pissed. Oh, future inheritors. What? <laughs> really? That's the tech tide, the tech titan's power. She didn't even know. I was always wondering what is a Tech Titan special power? Because he never seemed to be special, the Tech Titan. He wasn't good at attacking really, he wasn't really strong, he wasn't very durable or anything. This seems a bit different. Yeah, right. <clears throat> but if he isn't doing it, it gets crazy. Is this why he's doing it? Because Aaron is right next to him in his vision? Is this what happened? Why he changed his mind? So basically, Aaron manipulated Grisha and not Grisha Aaron. <laughs> Is this what happened for Grisha? Did he saw Aaron or hear Aaron? What now, Zeke? <laughs> Thank you. 
<laughs> what the fuck? Oh my god. Aaron completely destroyed him mentally. <laughs> My God, dude, this is absolute madness. This explains also why Grisha was so like so mad so crazy when he took Eren as a child and gave him and turned him into a titan because he was completely mentally destroyed at this point <laughs> oh uh oh i am the Alpha and the Omega. <laughs> bro! After credit scene? I don't think so. Bro! <laughs> okay, I just go straight into the thoughts. Dude, this is absolute madness. <coughs> this turns, this turns basically the whole story on its head. I mean, not really but but certain aspects right so you know basically now zeke always was like bruh Aaron, grisha brainwashed you manipulated you you do just what he wants and now it turns out that it's the other way around Aaron manipulated grisha and made him do all this because grisha never wanted to do this he never wanted to kill children, he never wanted, all he wanted was that the Founding Titan destroys all the Titans outside the wall so that his family, so that his wife and Eren and Mikasa, that everyone is safe. Um, that was his only thing that he wanted. <clears throat> and then when he wanted to take the Founding Titan away, because they weren't listening, he wanted to kill them, but he couldn't. And then Aaron comes around in his mind and manipulates him in doing it. Oh boy. Like I said in, at the end now, that explains perfectly why, why, uh, Grisha was so mad and crazy when he injected Eren with the spinal fluid and turned him into a titan. Because all of this shit happened here right now. <clears throat> so when Owl said, you have to save Mikasa and Armin and the others or whatever, that was not his memory or past memory or Grisha's future memory. That was Eren's memory, what Eren wanted. So Aaron was also an owl's head, I guess it seems like, and manipulated him, maybe even manipulated owl into giving the titan to Grisha so that Grisha can give birth to Aaron with his mother, obviously not by himself, and then give Aaron the titan. <laughs> Bro. And, like I said in the episode, I was always wondering what makes the Attack Titan special. You would imagine when he is called Attack Titan <clears throat> that he would be an attacker, that he would be strong. But the female Titan outmatched him. Um, <clears throat> she was like combat-wise stronger and had better hardening and all that stuff. <clears throat> because back then Eren had no hardening, so... The Colossal Titan, based on his sheer size and everything, he's like way stronger than the Attack Titan. Reiner outmatched him for the majority because he was just harder. And so Eren was, couldn't stand a chance because 
because the attack titan is very squishy right he is not very resistant a uh, resistant he's not necessarily strong because other titans like attack titan fe uh, like uh, armor titan colossal titan female titan even the jaw titan all of these titans are way stronger than the attack titan because the only reason why Eren stand a chance against the uh, against the jaw titan while we saw that he wins against the jaw titan is only because he has a hardening which i guess which i think he got from the one fluid right the hardening fluid um that he took when he was almost eaten by a historia when he got his hardening ability but without it the jaw titan would mess him up <clears throat> warhammer titan would mess him up so there is car titan okay car titan might be weaker than Eren, but the strength of the car titan lies elsewhere so basically all the, for being called the attack titan the attack titan always seemed pretty weak and squishy but it's not that he is strong or anything it's that he can see the fucking future <clears throat> and based on that he can see the future he maybe can manipulate the future maybe that's why got into Grisha's mind because dude this is so crazy I mean now I'm saying maybe because he can see the future maybe so maybe it was determined already that Grish that how everything will play out right which is pretty crazy and then maybe because he, Aaron has a attack titan power which is basically seeing the future is maybe also seeing the past and maybe that's why he can could manipulate Grisha because of the power of the, of the attack titan Dude, this is getting wild. So wild with everything that is going on. <clears throat> so, Eren basically knows what is going on right now, right? He, I mean, the thing is, how far ahead can Eren see? What can he see? I mean, Eren has his plan. Eren should know what's going to happen. Because, I mean, we saw Owl knowing about Armin and Mikasa. And so, that was like before Eren was born. Aaron is now what age? 18, 19, 20, 21, something like that. And so how far in the future can Aaron look? I mean, maybe just until his I mean, probably beyond his death, right? Because Owl could see beyond his death, I guess. And Aaron doesn't have long to live anymore. So I guess <clears throat> So if if Eren can see in the future, and if Eren can manipulate Zeke, uh, Grisha, Eren was also not surprised that, I think Eren was also not surprised that Grisha could see Zeke, right? <coughs> in the basement and all that stuff. So maybe Eren knows already that Grisha sees Zeke and is like, you have to stop Eren. And so Eren knows what, he, what Zeke will do and knows what he has to do to prevent it. Dude, how? Bro. <laughs> so, wait. If Eren can see in into the future, did he know that he couldn't control Ymir and just played along so that Grish, uh, so that Zeke takes him onto the tour that we just saw in this episode and Eren knew this would happen? And he just went along? Here's again the problem. What is the extent to the future seeing ability of the Titan? <clears throat> and what I'm also wondering about is it he he said that the that the attack titan basically is like to overthrow kings or some shit. To attack bad kings or something. Does it mean I think he said something along the line that makes it sound like to me as if the attack titan can't be manipulated by the founding titan because it's basically to prevent that from happening to to like attack the kings that are bad so kind of like the mikasa family like the Aka akaman dude oh my god this is getting crazy <laughs> Oh my god, this is getting crazy. Oh, I can't wait for the next episode, man. Oh, this is getting crazy. But yeah. 
If you like what you saw, leave a like, subscribe, or comment. Let me know what you thought. And yeah, thanks for watching. Until next time, bye bye. <laughs>